Hi, this is Marto. Welcome to my online chess lecture. In this video, I will show you a game between Carlos Torre and Harold Jennings. This game was played in the United States in 1924. Carlos Torre had white pieces and he started with d4. Harold Jennings played knight to f6, knight to f3, g6, knight to c3, and now b6, double fianchetto defense. What is the best way to play against double fianchetto? Hmm? After watching this game, you will know. Why to move? e4, bishop to b7. Black strategy is to allow white to occupy the center and then he wants to attack it. Bishop to d3, bishop to g7, bishop to f4, Harold Jennings, castle kingside. Queen to d2, intending to castle queenside and to play bishop to h6, exchanging dark square bishops, pushing pawn all the way to h5 and exchanging it for the pawn on g6 to deliver checkmate after chasing the knight. Rook to e8, Carlos Torre, castle queenside as planned. d5, e5, attacking the knight and gaining the space on the board. And from f to d7, bishop to h6, bishop to h8. If bishop takes on h6, queen takes on h6, white is threatening knight to g5. After, say, knight to f8, h4. And black's position is extremely difficult to defend. We have bishop to h8, h4. C5 desperately looking for a counterplay. Why to move? How would you continue in this position if you had white pieces? Hmm? Perhaps h5 comes to mind. What do you think? Our story played e6. Knight to f6. If f takes on e6, one line goes like this. h5. C takes on d4 h takes on g6, d takes on c3 attacking the queen, g takes on h7 check, king to f7, knight to g5 check, king to f6, queen to f4 checkmate. Back to our game. So Harold Jennings played knight to f6, knight to e5, threatening pawn takes pawn on f7, if something like knight to a6, pawn takes pawn, checkmate. And if f takes on e6, then bishop takes on g6, pawn takes bishop to g5, knight to h5, queen takes on g6, check, knight to g7, knight to f7 attacking the queen, queen goes to a safe spot, bishop to e3 intending knight to h6, queen to f7, checkmate. So, Harold Jennings played rook to f8. What else? Bishop takes rook. Queen takes bishop. Pawn takes pawn check. King to g7. White played the move and black resigned. Can you guess the move? The move is h5. Black resigned in view of h6. Checkmate. If knight takes on h5, rook takes knight, pawn takes rook, queen to g5, checkmate. And if pawn takes, then queen to g5, checkmate. What a game. Is that a good example of how to play against double fianchetto or not? What do you think of this game? And that is all. I hope that you enjoyed watching this video. I wish you good luck with your chess and bye for now.